so I just wanted to go through a couple of the features using the steel PDB there um, and exactly how to wire them up. Um, I see a lot of the same questions um, in RC groups. It's not exactly clear which pins to use, which ports to use. So I just thought I'd go through and explain some of the, the details and how I've set things up. So at the moment I've set the quad up to run black box. That's plugged into the TX pad which is here and that runs out and into the RX pad of the black box. Um, to power the black box I'm running the 5 volt in the ground from this side of the PDB. But to run the black box in the KISS um, settings you have to change from OSD to logger. Um, you can't run both the OSD data and the logger at the same time but you're only going to do a short flight with the logger anyway so there's no real problem there. To get the LEDs to work you need to take the third pin out of port 2 and run that down to your LED board. This is just one cheap one from Banggood. Um, any LEDs would work, RGB LEDs. Um, but I also use the 5 volt on ground from the PDB on this side to power the LEDs. So I can't run a, a logger as well as LEDs at the same time. I just switch between when I want to. So just to prove they work, this is the LEDs running. Um, you can do a, set it to a knob, change colour, so it goes all the way from off, all the way through the colours back to off. Um, I might try something in my radio, see if I can get it to just go from one colour to another on an arming switch, similar to the way you can set it up on clean flight. But um, for now, I've just got it on a, just got it here on a knob on my TX. So for smart audio, you want to run from RX3, which is on the underside of the, the board. If you want to combine it with mic, you want to run the RX3 to the mic pad, and then from the mic pad, run a wire then straight to Unify Pro. Um, my Unify Pro is mounted on my top plate, which is separate. What I did was a bit different with a switch. I wouldn't advise a switch. Um, basically, there's no there's no benefit from the switch. I did it because I thought it'd provide me the ability to change between the mic output and the smart audio output. Um, so I had clean sound. But in all honesty, the switch is kind of irrelevant because the only noise you pick up from the smart audio on the mic happens when you're arming or you're changing channel. You're not doing that while you're flying, so it's not going to be distracting. It may happen few seconds after you arm, that's it. It's it's pretty much irrelevant. It's not going to change the way that you fly and it's not going to ruin your audio feed. The final thing I wanted to just mention is a couple of workarounds if you lift pads off your steel PDB. I was unfortunate enough to lift my PWM and the telemetry wire on my fourth motor here um, the way I worked around it was to run the PWM straight into the port here. I believe it's port 1, pin 4 for PMW4, but that's obviously just for that channel. 1 to 4 in port 1 is each independent channel, so pin 1 on port 1 is motor 1 up to pin 4 being motor 4, obviously. For the telemetry, what you just have to do is just splice that lead into the telemetry in, but you still need to run the port from the steel PDB to the KISS FC, but you just need to splice the one wire that you haven't obviously got going into your PDB here back into the wire that's going to the FC. Just wanted to finish by saying thank you to all the people on RC Groups. Um, you've been super helpful with my build. You don't have to reply to all the comments, but you're really good too. It's really helpful and really good to see that in the community. Thanks guys. Cheers.